going to continue with our health education on non-communicable diseases and today specifically we're going to talk about 10 common habits that may damage your kidneys. So the first bad behavior which can lead you to get kidney diseases is lack of taking enough water. Normally we are supposed to take two to three liters a day. Uh, if you're not doing strenuous exercise, you can take a little bit more if you're doing strenuous exercise because of sweating, because the kidneys need water for them to function. So avoid dehydration. The second, the second reason which can lead you to get kidney disease is taking too much salt. Now salt is necessary, we need salt in our bodies, but you need not more than two grams a, uh, a day or 2,000 milligram because wa uh, salt will retain water and if you retain water you have a chance of getting high blood pressure and high blood pressure is among the commonest cause of kidney failure. So don't take too much salt. The third thing which can lead you to get uh, kidney disease is excessive use of painkillers. There are a lot of people with chronic backache, there are a lot of people with knee and joint pains, so they have a tendency to buy this over-the-counter, diclopa, diclofen, and telanon and other. These are the called non-steroid or anti-inflammatory uh, drugs, and excessive use of it can damage your kidneys. The fourth behavior which might put you into a risk of um, getting uh, kidney disease is excessive usage of alcohol and I know this many people don't like to hear but normally is one glass of wine a day uh, for men two bottles of beer a day one uh, hour apart and for females is one and those who take hard stuff uh, is a one shot a day because excessive alcohol can make you to go to the toilet many times and you'll be dehydrated and remember one of the reason to get uh, uh, put you into risk of kidney disease is dehydration so alcohol can give you uh, dehydration the fifth cause of uh, risk factor is excessive exercise now get me right I encourage people to exercise but Overdoing it, you'll expose yourself to a disease called uh, rhabdomyolysis. And what is a rhabdomyolysis? This is a rare disease where your muscles get teared or injured. And once they're injured, they release a protein called myoglobin, which myoglobin is very toxic to the kidneys. And how would one know that I've got uh, uh, rhabdomyolysis? You have, you'll feel very weak on your limbs, very sore, painful and the color of your urine can change to look dark urine uh, which looks like coca-cola soda and so when i talk of strenuous exercise i'm heavy lifting doing for hours and hours this should be taken with caution but i repeat exercise is good but don't overdo it the sixth cause is abuse of illicit drugs, whether it's cocaine, heroin, marijuana, ecstasy and others, this cause damage to the kidneys. So one has to be very careful to keep away from using illicit drugs. Reason number seven is excessive eating of foods high in sugar content. You remember, if you eat processed foods or using a lot of sugar, it will give you obesity or overweight, which will lead you to high blood pressure or diabetes. And remember, high blood pressure, diabetes, they are the leading cause of kidney diseases. So let's be very careful to, uh, to avoid condiments in your breakfast cereals or white bread and, uh, because they can lead you to obesity, uh, hence getting kidney disease. Reason number eight is smoking. Tobacco always causes damage to the blood vessels. You, if you, you have damaged blood vessels, it will lead you to get uh, kidney diseases. So it's another risk factor which one should keep away. The ninth cause is lack of sleep or insomnia. Now, the kidney's function is regulated by the way we sleep. 
because it's supposed to be a cycle which will coordinate the workload of the kidneys over the next 24 hours. So sleeping adequately six to eight hours is always encouraged for the kidneys to function well. And the last reason is excessive eating of meat. And here we specifically talk of red meat. Excessive of anything is bad, but excessive eating of red meat, animal protein usually generates a high amount of acids and these acids can be very difficult to be excreted by the kidneys, exposing them to uh, get damage to the kidney. So excessive eating of meat should be avoided. Why we are discussing these risk factors? We'll give you an example of Mwimbili where I work. Last year alone, we saw more than 40,000 patients at our clinic uh, of uh, kidney diseases. We did over 50,000 uh, 50, dialysis procedures. And at our center here, we've done more than 90 cases of kidney transplant. If you listen to the patients, one or two or three or all of the risk factors which I've just mentioned today, the patients have been uh, positive when we were taking the history. So it's important to try to avoid all these risk factors and it is all about your lifestyle. Because if you avoid alcohol, you have changed your lifestyle. You avoid your smoking, you've changed your lifestyle. Avoidance of excessive processed foods, excessive exercise which are unnecessary will always keep you healthy. So I wish you a good health. Thank you very much.